Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Four Minute Film School. Today, we're going to be talking about the top three reasons why working with American actors is a pain in the ass. So, I bet you're wondering, huh? Working with American actors is a pain in the ass? Well, yeah, that's what I get asked at Christmas every day from the family, the uncles, and the... Well, I don't have any uncles, I'm the uncle. Uh, nephews, nieces, uh, you know, friends family. So, what was it like working with Cheryl and Finn? No, I know you guys don't know who she is, but if you know Twin Peaks, if you remember Twin Peaks, she was in that show. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't blame her for everything that American actors do. She was quite pleasant to work with, um, for me as a cinematographer. But in general, when you're working with local Canadian artists, they're local Canadian artists, and they feel like they're just part of the team, right? And this makes for a very pleasant working experience. Uh, when you're working with American artists, they come from Hollywood. They arrive on an airplane from L.A. airport, which is next to Hollywood, where they get kind of treated a little bit like movie stars, even if they're hacks or never was has-beens on the comeback trail. So what are the three main reasons why it's a pain in the ass to work with these people? I bet you're guessing already, right? I'm going to try to keep this to four minutes today. Um, number one, they don't want to be there, right? They just don't want to be there. Uh, they're not the only ones. However, uh, as professionals, if we were to, uh, us among the crew who work behind the camera, if we were to show... Um, any displeasure at being in the workplace, uh, we'd be fired, just like any other job, right? I mean, you go to work every day, you guys, and if you were a waiter in a restaurant and you looked like you were miserable all the time, after a couple of weeks, the manager would pull you aside and say, hey, what the fuck is going, <clears throat> excuse me, what the heck is going on? Um, movie stars are not subject to that kind of short-term uh, scrutiny. However, if they do look miserable over several different projects in a row, they get a reputation as being difficult. Um, so basically, the number one reason that they're hard to work with is because they don't want to be there. They don't want to listen to you. They don't want to do what you're asking. They don't want to do a blocking. They don't want to re rehearse. They just want to, can we shoot it and get the hell out of here? That's all they want to do. Shoot it and get the hell out of it. Tell you the truth, a lot of the times, that's all I want to do, too, as a cinematographer. But I can't go home knowing I've done a shitty job. I just can't do that. It's, 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 I, life's too short. And the days on a film set are long. And when you're walking to your car at the end of the day, you got to feel like I've done something. I've challenged myself. I've accomplished something. It's not just another paycheck that the government's going to take anyways. So, um, but sometimes actors, they kind of give up and they're kind of like there just for the paycheck because the paychecks are pretty good. I can see coming in, doing eight days of shooting for $200,000 and just getting through it. Makes sense. What's the number two reason that they're a pain in the ass? Number two reason that they're a pain in the ass is that they're in Canada shooting in Canada, and they live in Hollywood. And where's all the yes men? Yes men, yes women, yes people. Um, brown nosers, right? In a town of brown nosing like Hollywood, you move to Toronto or Montreal or Vancouver for a couple of months to do a film, and not everybody's kissing your ass because they're going to see you for a few weeks and then you're gone. They're not going to get a job out of you. They're not going to get more work out of you. They're not going to tell you the kind of things that your your agent or your manager says. You know, I owe you lunch. No. A Canadian technician is not even supposed to be speaking with the actors. That's, that's how that works. Um, most American actors are Hollywood trained actors, even if they're Canadian. Um, if don't don't strike up a conversation with Donald Sutherland. Just don't do it. You really don't want to go there. I mean, I'm sure you've had humiliating moments in your life, but nothing comes close to 
striking up a conversation with Donald Sutherland or any other Hollywood actor for that matter because they'll have this blank look on their face looking at you as if to say like, dude, you're wanting to like communicate with me? Are you talking to me? Because we're not, we're not going to do this. We're not like going to get to know each other or anything, so bugger off. Canadian actors, a little bit different. Number three reason why American actors are a bit difficult to work with is because they're artists. Not all of them. The ones that aren't artists are the worst because they wish they were and they know they're not. And so they hate themselves. Mira Sorvino did this to us on a shoot one once. It was incredible. She was horrible. She was a horrible actor. She was acting with Marlon Brando and it was horrible. And she knew it more than anybody else in the room. And that can ruin anybody's day when you realize that you're bad at your job, right? Um, yeah, so the, the ones that the ones that are the most miserable are perhaps the ones that are not artists and know it, but the ones that are miserable because they're artists are because they come to realize at a certain stage in their career or at a certain point in the shooting, hey, wait a minute, this isn't an art form. This is just some bullshit job. Oh, fuck. I've been spending my life, my entire life, trying to not have to work at a real job, and here I am at a real job where I have to work hard, Come in early, get up early, come in early, stay stay late, work all day, try to memorize lines, acting with people, it's hot, it's it's not it's not a pleasant thing, it's hard work, it demands a lot of concentration, and there they are thinking, well, I thought I was an artist. Maybe I'll go do theater. And that's what they've got in their mind when the director says, and action. They're thinking, maybe I should go do theater. Maybe I should go do theater. And that's the look they have on their face. So you know what? It's a crapshoot. Hire the actors you can hire. Watch them on the screen. You'll see that look in their eye at the beginning of a shot that they're thinking, maybe I should do theater. Because somehow, somewhere, they're a little bit frustrated that their dream has turned into a hardworking job. So that's the four-minute film school for this week, which has the three main reasons why American actors are a pain in the ass to work with. American actors are not a pain in the ass. They can be a pain in the ass to work with. Um, so can cinematographers, which is a topic we should cover in one of the, you know, in a, an episode coming up very soon. So please, uh, you know, uh, if you want to see any more of these, if you're interested at all in hearing more about the the biz, check out the next episode. I got a really cool idea. <laughs> You're going to like this one. All right. Thanks for watching. I didn't do the four minutes. I did eight, eight and a half now. Sorry. <laughs>